so excited. I reached a goal. So I don't know, the people who've been here for a while know that YouTube before was really not my thing. The way y'all had to like have me in a chokehold before I was going to like post a YouTube video was insane. I don't know why, but YouTube was such a struggle for me because I was like, I am more than just like these try and hauls back to back. I was just like figuring everything out because for me, like YouTube had to be a place where everyone could see like my personality because like Instagram, TikTok, for me, those are my platforms that where I just show my style and like a little bit of lifestyle, but like I felt my personality was not like coming true. So I wanted YouTube to be that platform where people can see how I am as a person. I think my first video was three years ago. Like I was struggling for two years before like taking YouTube seriously. And like in 2023, I was like, you know what? 2023 is going to be the year where I'm going to work on my YouTube channel. I'm going to invest in so many videos. That's what I did. So my goal for 2023 was to end the year with 100k subscribers. It might seem a bit like extreme, but I knew that I could do it. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't reach my goal at the end of 2023. It was like a month late. I reached my goal in January, end of January. So like, yeah, just a month late. Anyways, I was still happy because even the 100k was a confirmation that like, if I put my mind into something, I can do it. So I was so happy, end of January, I reached my 100K and then I was like, okay, where is this like award thing from YouTube? Because that, 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 that would be like the cherry on the cake. That was actually what I really wanted. I wanted that award because I don't know, it's just so cool. I was waiting, waiting, waiting until YouTube gave me like the notification that I could actually like ask for my reward. So, <sighs> One month ago, somewhere in February, I finally got the notification. I was so happy. I was like, claim, claim, claim. And now, <laughs> I am so happy. I'm going to open it with you guys. I was literally waiting. I've been having this for already two weeks, but I was like, no, I'm going to wait to film it and open it with you guys. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. Open this, talk a bit about me. I also asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions, so I'm going to answer a few questions. But guys, not gonna lie, there were so many questions, it's impossible to do them all in this video. So this is just going to be like a short unboxing with me slash little Q&A. I saw that there were a lot of questions about my influencer journey and da 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 da. So I'm going to do like a Q&A about that separately. I am so excited, like this feels as like my most important video ever. Oh my god, you know, it feels so good to actually achieve a goal. Yeah. You know one thing though, because okay, I know like my travel vlogs are fun and stuff, but like these vlogs are not sponsored. I That's literally me planning whenever I can do like a trip. Some are literally booked as an investment for my YouTube channel so I can give you entertainment. So just know that like I'm spending my own money on this and every time when I'm feeling like I'm just back from one trip and it's like when is the next vlog and I'm like guys it's not sponsored like can you give me a break like I literally did the most last year I cannot even say like how much I invested in these trips but I also need to save let's just all hope that this year will be filled with sponsored trips so I can give you guys more vlogs but if not, be patient with me. Thank you. Da -da -da -da. I don't even know why it feels like... Okay. <sighs> oh my God, this is so cool, guys. Okay, so I have like a little card. Congrats. <laughs> Congla Remix. Congrats. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's still morning. Maybe that's why. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. Yeah. Then there is also this paper thing. We are proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. This award, and we're here to support you along the way. Who knows when you reach your million subscriber. Guys, let's be realistic. <laughs> A million? 
I don't know, a million will take years. So I'm just happy with this one. Let's start there and yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I can literally cry at this point. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool. This is the award, guys. How cool is this? I am definitely going to hang this one up. Thank you guys for like liking my content, viewing my content, like subscribing to my channel. Like this is literally the reason why I just kept going on YouTube because I got so much positive feedback. Everyone always wanted more and more and more. And that is what literally kept me going because I was pressured. I was like, oh my God, like I can't do the bare minimum anymore. I'm so happy. Let's get into the Q&A a little bit. I know like there are a lot of new people that don't know stuff about me. So I'm just going to like answer a few questions so everyone can get to know me a bit. Today, I'm also going to like um, celebrate this. I'm going to have a drink with friends. We're going to come together, so I might take you guys with me. Yeah, I will take you guys with me. I will like film a little bit. I almost forgot, like the biggest shout out goes to my little sister. The way my little sister, she's 17 now. Mind you that I already had her in a chokehold for my content like when she was five or six years old. Not gonna lie, I wasn't into social media back then, but I just always loved taking pictures and da da da. And she was my victim. She was my victim. So the fact that she played such a huge role in like my whole journey, like from the start of me being an influencer, because I haven't been an influencer for that long. Not gonna lie, maybe like four years, I think. Four years and two years of me actually being great at what I do, I think. Yeah, shout out to my sister. Um, she deserves everything, like, not gonna lie, she's my best friend. Okay, so, a few questions. I screenshotted a few. How long have you been doing this? I literally just answered, like, four years, I think, uh, that I actually started, like, seriously. No, not even seriously. Like, that's when I just started taking pictures way better. Because the thing is, I always heard, like, from people, like, yeah, why don't you have like social media? Why don't you take it seriously? Da, da, da. Because I was always into pictures. Like that's my thing. I see something cute. I see a cute location and I will match my outfit with, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's just my thing. Um, what inspires you to make content? I don't know. Is it something that inspires me? I don't think anything inspires me to create content because I already like creating content. Like. Whenever I have an outfit or an item that I want to show, like, I immediately just, my head starts, like, working over hours and I just want to share everything. Uh, but, like, what can inspire me more into being more creative is probably, like, being in different locations. Because whenever I go on a trip, I will, like, even songs, I will go to somewhere and if I have a song that matches where I'm going, I will start like thinking, how can I create a fun video with this sound on that location? Yeah, that's just what happens. Like different locations will spark my brain more. Uh, but in general, I'm already inspired to like, yeah, it's whatever. Social media as well. Like I can like get inspiration of other people, but like, yeah. Uh, your biggest regret. Actually, I don't, I don't really live with regrets because I feel like everything that I used to regret eventually became a lesson and I don't know like I am still young but I feel like I have so much life experience like the struggles that I had like but anyways I don't really have regrets like everything really made me into the person I am today and I feel like today I am such a strong confident person like no one can tell me shit I'm actually grateful for all the experience that I already have at such a young age because I feel like I'm standing so strong in this life and at this point, call me delusional, but there is literally nothing that I cannot do. Yeah, and I'm also, everyone that knows me know that, but once I put my mind into something, I'm achieving it. I don't care how, but I am achieving it. So, not really living with regrets. Mm, I might live with regrets about, like, the energy that I put into some people. I am such a people pleaser, and I'm always there for everyone, and I will help whenever I can, but, like... People will take advantage of that. That might be one of my regrets. Like some people really didn't deserve my help and my 
because it's everything it's my health my money my energy yeah that might be a regret how did you find your sense of style i'm um, not gonna lie it's only since 2023 that i actually like really found my style because i don't really have a specific style like i can dress up very girly i can dress up like very streetwear ish very classy elegant tomboy ish like i can wear whatever but i feel like i know what works for me within each category if that makes sense that's what i figured out like what works for me do you have a boyfriend who knows you can find out in the next episode <laughs> do you ever see yourself pivoting from pivoting pivoting i don't know how to pronounce it uh from content creation into something else yes it's not that I feel like content creation is a temporary thing, but I do feel like I have so much more to offer. Uh, for the people who know me from way back, uh, will know that I used to work in restaurants. I was like ship leader, which was so fulfilling. I don't know, like to work in, in like restaurants, you need to be a different type of person because you need to be like able to not stress, multitask, help people be friendly be talkative like but those are all like my my qualities i guess so working in restaurants is something that i actually miss there was a moment last year where i was thinking like should i just like mix the two together even though like the pay would be actually way less than what i make as a content creator but it's just like I just love working in a restaurant, I don't know, there is something with the pressure and the adrenaline and just like being able to see how you can fix everything, I, I just really like it. So yes, I might, I might do something in the future within restaurants, if it's like to start my own restaurant, if it's like to work again in, I don't know, I don't know. There are like many things in my head, I'm not going to talk too much because I don't want to jinx myself, but yeah, I have a plan. Hopefully this year, maybe next year, I don't know, but it will be around like content creation, but it's not going to be Yeah, that's everything that I will tell you. Why don't you really post your mom? I I see you post your siblings, but never her um, Never I actually post her just not a lot, but I actually don't post anyone a lot because I Don't know guys. I feel like I have a hair on my face I don't really post anyone a lot besides my sister. My sister is the one who is like getting all the attention, but that's because I feel like she's at an age where she has her own account. She she actually enjoys being in my content and whatever. My two little brothers actually they don't I don't post them a lot because they're still young and I don't know. And my mom the same like whenever I don't get someone's approval or if I don't know if they will like the attention, I don't post them. Like, I would post them like here and there, but not a lot. What are some countries you would like to visit soon? Dubai. I know Dubai is not a country, but I want to go to Dubai. I feel like it's, it's a place that you must see once in your life. Thailand as well, Jamaica. There are like a lot of countries actually, but I'm going to work on that. I'm actually, I have a list and I'm going to like tick every country of my list yeah do you use your phone when filming your youtube vlogs this is a question that i always get yes like i don't use a camera i always use my phones i started with filming everything on my iphone uh 12 pro then i went over to the 13 pro then i went over to the 14 pro and now currently i am filming with the uh with the 15 pro yeah everything is with my phone like i don't i don't feel the need to like walk around with a camera to film everything because I feel like then it doesn't feel naturally. Also when I vlog, I can easily switch to front camera. It's so easy to access my phone. Instead with a camera, you will have to like switch it on, wait until the lens comes up. Guys, I don't have time for that. Like if I vlog, I want to be like in the moment. I will never redo a shot that isn't naturally not. Mm -mm. So yes, a phone. What do you think your personality is like? And what do others think it's like? Is it similar? I think it is similar because I am someone who reflects a lot about myself. So I know what my positive traits are. I know what my negative traits are. And I always, I always try to improve myself. So it can be that I do something bad, bad, I don't know. 
and I will think about it after and I was like, why did I do that? And then I will be like, not in the future. I'm gonna fix it. But my personality, in general, I am someone who laughs a lot. I am someone who likes to create memories, uh, has lots of enjoyment, actually lives for enjoyment because I really like being happy, having fun. That is me. Uh, I will also like, I don't know how to say it, but I'm like one of the guys. Not really like one of the guys, but like since when I was young, I would, my friend group would always consist of more guys than girls. But I think it's because I, I am such a, not a goofy person, but I really like to laugh. I really like to roast people. Like my humor is not like a girly humor. I don't know if, I, if that's how I can explain it well, but I feel like with guys i can laugh like so hard don't get me wrong uh, my friends my girlfriends at this moment they are such they are funny as hell so with them i can laugh like this is my group but i feel like with other girls i don't know i don't know like i feel there is always like so much competition some girls will actually be scared to look like a clown like me I don't care. I don't care who you are. If I want to be a clown, I'll be a clown. I don't care. And I feel like with just being the way I am, I attract my kind of people. So yeah, that's one. Two is like, I am kind, but I can be very cold as well. I will give my 100% to someone. I will help people. I will even like, it's just help in general. I will please people as hard as I can but it's like once you cross a certain boundary with me because I am patient but if you test my patience I can get so cold yeah I'm stubborn as well like if I put my mind into something and someone will tell me no I will be like yes that's me I guess I am not sensitive at all but like whenever I love I I am like the biggest cry baby ever it's so weird because not a lot of people will see me cry in this lifetime, not gonna lie. Something really bad has to happen before I will shed a tear. <laughs> it's crazy. But once it comes to love, oh my god, guys, I am a crybaby. I am like the toughest, softest person you will meet. I don't know if that makes sense. Is your name Silels or Sylvia? My name is Sylvia. Like, Silels is actually just a mix of my name and my family name. It's just like, I don't know, I had to come up with something special. <laughs> Are you from Nigeria? I'm quite confused. You and me both, because at this point, how is it not clear? Like, my mom is from Nigeria, my dad is from Belgium. But yeah, I, I, I definitely have more feeling with the Nigerian side. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a feeling with my white side. Like, even my friends forget that that side is there because it is actually non-existent. So yeah, I am Nigerian, very proud, very happy to be from Nigeria because, in my opinion... <laughs> um, but yeah, I am so confused about how me being Nigerian is not obvious because my song choices, my dance moves, my... I don't know, like every chance I get to use Nigerian songs, I, I will take it. Like most of my reels are actually Nigerian songs. Even the songs I repost on my story, Nigerian songs. Even me, like going all out for Nigerian in the FCON, everyone's like, are you Nigerian? I'm like, guys, I know I'm light skinned, probably that, but I feel like even my sister, I post my sister so often, like her name should say it all. You and me both, we are both confused. Uh, are you scared of aging or are you scared of your 30s approaching? Yes and no. I am not scared, but I am definitely starting to feel the pressure of me becoming 27 this year uh, because I had this whole plan. I know I'm speaking for a lot of women. I had this whole plan for me in my 20s, what I wanted by then, 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 then. At this point, I have reached none of these plans. <laughs> Yeah, not gonna lie, I reached the goal that I, I wanted to live on my own in a beautiful apartment. So that goal I reached, a huge goal, because not a lot of people of my age can afford to live in an apartment like where I live. I also reached the goal that I could earn money with my passion, I guess. So that's two goals, but this is why I say like I'm not scared, because the two goals that I did reach are like very big goals, because I was able to move out 
uh, at the age of 20, 25, no, 24. I was able to move out into my dream apartment at the age of 24. So that is already a big achievement. And I am earning money with my passion and it's not small money. So I actually feel like I did achieve big things, but like I wanted to be married, have kids, da 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 da. But I am so happy now that I didn't reach my goals when I wanted to reach them in regards to children being married because I feel like that wouldn't be my right timing, if that makes sense. And the older I get, the more my life is starting to make sense. It feels like everything that I wanted and I couldn't get it when I wanted it, it was for my best interest. I'm actually happy. I'm not feeling pressured. However, I do have the feeling that I don't want to have kids when I'm 35. No. Uh, advice you would give someone who's entering their 20s. Guys, I'm still in my 20s, but don't feel pressured. And the thing is, I know everyone talks about, oh, you, you have to earn money as a, main, as a main income, have a side hustle, do this, do that. Guys, no one can do that. For me, I was struggling because I was studying, I was working, and besides that, I was doing content creation. Okay, I'm a person who can multitask very well. I am so organized, so I would be like, okay, on my days that I don't have to go to school, I'm working before or after school, I will create content, but not gonna lie, that is not for everyone because you will be tired. I was so tired, but for me, it was for like, I know what I can handle. So for me, it was still something that I can handle. But what I know now is that I would have wished that I would dropped out out of school earlier because I know school wasn't for me. Like, it's not because it was too difficult. I just knew like, I didn't want to end like at a nine to five. That is just not my destiny. So I wish I would have just like focused on work and content creation. In general, I would say focus on one thing and that is what I'm doing now. Once I started like focusing on one thing, that's when everything improved. You cannot have like 50% there, 50% there. No, you have to have like 100% focus on one thing and that's how you will be the best in what you want to be, in my opinion. So yeah, don't feel pressured. Just focus on what you really want and put your all into that. Um, and don't listen to anyone's opinion because if I would have listened to people's opinion, I would never be here. Mm -mm. And don't look at other people on social media. I know people say, oh, social media is fake. In my opinion, yes, there are people who portray like uh, a false image, but there are also people like me who just like live and share how they live. Because for me, I was even sharing when I was at work and whatever. Never just compare yourself to other people. Be in your own timeline, do whatever you want, share what you want. But never compare yourself to other people. Mm -mm. How long do you plan on having a YouTube account? Like actually, as long as I can. I don't really have in my mind to stop at a certain age. Like for me, it would be actually so cute to even like have kids and share that journey. And so no, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon unless someone stops me and it's not for me anymore. But for me, I can do this content creation thing as long as I can, yeah. Oh, that was my last question. All the other questions are about content creation, influencing, so I will do another Q&A about that uh, because yeah, everyone seems so interested in that. Like literally, thank you for like being on this journey with me. Uh, right now, I have to like film other stuff and in the evening, I'm going out for drinks. I have like a cute little cake made um but yeah i will just film i just i will just film everything i don't think i can really talk uh but i will film like um once i'm leaving show you my outfit and then once i'm there show you the vibes a little bit but yeah oh my god i'm just so grateful to even like being able to do this video because yeah i'm just grateful for everyone around me at this moment uh, I feel like at this point, I really have general people around me. Okay, guys, the hair is done. This is my look. I did my hair in a ponytail because I know, like, my hair will be in my face. Otherwise, I did a little bit of pink. I don't know if I did it good, but it's whatever, guys. It's a freestyle. <laughs> this is it. Let me show you my look. This is going to be difficult to show you guys the full fit. Anyways. Oh, where are my heels? This is the look. 
it's like shining shine you probably already saw this look on my instagram because i did like a reel with it anyways i'm going to pair it with these cute heels they're from zara Put them on i just went for like a party look because i guess it's a party can i show you like guys so this is the look um i will film something better if i have the chance i am ready no, because the way this jeans is like, whoop, I love it. 